What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are up nice and early to do a little bit more testing on these 415 watt bifacial panels from Sirius PV with a little bit of help from these two AC200s from Blue Eddy. Now these are nice and dead. I ran them down last night to 0% and what we're gonna do today is charge them up using two of these 415 watt bifacials, one of them mounted vertically, one of them in the standard sloped configuration. Now this will just be a real world test. We're in my yard. We're only going to get sun after it clears the fences, the houses, the trees. This is not like a wide open field. We have a couple clouds in the sky today, but it looks pretty good so far. So it's about 7 a.m. We're going to wait till probably 7.30 till we get a little bit of sun on these panels and see how it goes. So I'm going to get the other panel set up. Looks pretty good this way. Not too many clouds in the sky. So we'll hope for the best. You never know. All right, I've got the other panel laid out on top of the AC200s. I've got a couple two by fours popped under it because my yard is on a bit of a slope. So we have the AC200L and the AC200P. I'm going to be hooking up the 200L, the newer Blue Eddy, to the vertical panel because that one has an app, a Bluetooth uh, Wi-Fi app, and we'll be able to actually see kind of the charging profile for the day. So I think that'll be interesting to compare the results. We are just starting to get a tiny bit of sun on this panel now. It's about 730. I think the advantage is going to go to the vertical panel for the first couple hours while the sun is just cresting the trees and the houses so uh, we'll hook everything up and just see what happens all right guys the race is on we're making 10 watts on the ac 200 l again this is the vertical panel we have a little bit of sun just starting to uh, kiss the top of the panel over here on the 200 p it's flashing between zero and three watts that means the voltage is just not high enough to charge consistently yet so it's just kind of picking up ambient light at the moment like i said it's going to be a couple hours until that panel actually gets sun so the advantage will go to the vertical panel Only 15 minutes later and we're starting to make some pretty good sun on the vertical panel. You can see a little over half of the panel is now in direct sunlight and we're making just over 100 watts, which is pretty good for 745 in the morning. Things are looking promising for the vertical panel. Over here on the slope panel, still not quite making enough to charge. We are doing three and zero, so nothing going into the AC200P just yet. Okay, another 15 minutes and we're now at 8 a.m. with full sun on the vertical panel, minus the shadow from this fire pit. Obviously you've noticed by now, but I faced the front of the panel to the east to get the morning sun. I hope I don't regret that in the afternoon with the back of the panel to the west. As you can see, we're making 200 watts at 8 a.m. and we've already hit 5% state of charge. So doing really good on the AC200P with the vertical panel. Over here, we are still not making anything on the shaded panel. The sun is just starting to tickle that corner and it looks like, oh we are, we're making six, between three and six watts at the moment. So we are starting to make something off that tiny sliver of sun. Okay, it's 841 now. As you can see, the vertical panel is in full sunlight. The sloped panel still in the shade of the shed. Everybody's starting their day here in the house, so I'm keeping an eye on things from inside. I thought I'd pop the apps up on screen and compare the Sirius PV panels on my pergola that are in direct sunlight to the vertical panel because the AC200L does have the Wi-Fi app. So I'll pop them up on screen now and we can compare. So on the left, we have the app for the 6000 XP. We're currently making 929 watts on the array. That's split between six panels, so it's making about 154 watts per panel compared to the Blue Eddy's 256. Well, it's just after 9 a.m. and unfortunately the clouds have rolled in. So it looks like the vertical panel struggles a little more with cloud cover than the sloped panel. The sloped panel is now starting to catch up. We're currently making 85 watts on the vertical and 75-ish on the slope, I think. Let me double check. This one's a little harder to see. Yeah, right around 70 watts at 9 a.m. So I have a feeling if the clouds stick around, the sloped panel is gonna do a little bit better. I think it just has the ability to catch more light than the vertical, but we'll see. It seemed like that one was doing really good in direct sunlight, but not so much in cloud cover. 
Okay guys, I let them go for a couple hours. You can see the Blue Eddy 200P is making some good power around 370 watts and is up to 39% state of charge, while the AC200L is sitting at 41% state of charge and only making around 93 watts. Now that is because it's about 1.30 p.m. The sun is pretty much directly in line with the vertical panel. I'll take you around the back here and let you have a look at the shadow, but the uh, the sloped panel is really catching up to the vertical. It's putting the, putting the work on it now, and I think the vertical panel might have its work cut out for it this afternoon with the back side of the panel facing west. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to stay ahead of the sloped panel. Coming up on 3 p.m. and the sloped panel has officially taken the lead. We're sitting at 49% on the sloped, 45% on the vertical. We've had a lot of clouds still, so not a, not a huge gain in either battery since uh, the last update. But yeah, like I said, we'll let it run for the rest of the day. It's not looking good for the vertical panel with the backside being to the west. It's not going to be making as much power. The sloped panel has really excelled in this cloudy weather. Very interesting to see the comparison here. I, From what I gathered online, the vertical panel was a lot more efficient, but it looks like under real world conditions with a lot of cloud cover, that may not be the case. Okay, we're coming up on 6 p.m. We're getting near the end of the solar day and things are not looking good for the vertical panel. The horizontal panel has jumped way out in front at 69% state of charge on the 200P. Over on the 200L, we are sitting closer to 57%, only making 37 watts in these clouds. The skies are not looking good. I'll let them run as long as I can, but there is rain in the forecast in the next hour, so we might have to wrap it up. All right, guys, unfortunately, that is going to do it. The rain has started. It's just after 6 p.m., so I'm going to get these put away. I don't really want to get the Blue Eddies soaking wet. We ended up at 57% state of charge for the vertical panel, 69% for the slope, so it did do a lot better in the cloudy weather. Either way, it was a fun test. Let me know if you want me to revisit this on a better day as far as sun. I'm also considering facing the front of the Sirius panel to the west to get more of the afternoon sun, so let me know what you think if I should retest this in the future. I'll pop the screenshot up for the Blue Eddy. You can have a look at the charging curve. Nothing real groundbreaking with the amount of clouds we have. They do have a sale going on right now for these, the summer sale, so check them out at the link below. I'll also have the links to the Sirius panels, all that usual stuff in the description. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.